The AI Rio Dialog extension by Viacom is a powerful tool when flying the F-14 and DCS world. You can naturally communicate to your AI Rio gesture to more efficiently and quickly execute air-to-air -air and air-to-ground procedures. Your situational awareness will increase as you no longer need to bring up and use the gesture wheel. This extension works in the A and B models of the F-14 and DCS world. Let's have a look at the installation, setup, and use of the AI Rio extension. The following instructions will assume you already have Voice Attack and Viacom installed and have a basic understanding of their use. The first thing we need to do is purchase a license at the Viacom website. Once you receive the license key via email, go to the About tab in Viacom. Enter the license key and your email. Press Validate key to complete the activation process. Next, go to the Editor tab and click the Finish button. You will be prompted to update your keyword list within Voice Attack. At the Voice Attack interface, click on the Edit Profile pencil icon. A new window called Edit a Profile will pop up. In the middle, you should see a line called Keyword Collection. Double click the line with various keyword voice commands. Another window will open called Edit a Command. To the right of When I Say, Place the cursor in the box and press Ctrl A to select all. Then press Ctrl V to paste the added keywords. Click OK at the bottom right. That window will close. At the Edit a Profile window, click Apply, then Done. That window will close. Activation is now complete. At this point, I recommend closing Voice Attack and restarting it. At the Viacom menu, go to the EX Extension tab. On the left side are the AI Rio options. You will need to enable it. Take note that enabling or disabling the AI Rio extension will require a restart of Voice Attack and DCS. What this does is disable the gesture menu in game while using this extension, or re enables the gesture menu while disabling the extension. The next two options, Show Messages and Hints Only, provide an in-game menu to prompt incomplete voice commands. I'll cover that a little later as we learn how to manage Jester. ICS Hot Mic allows you to interact with Jester or Iceman without needing to press a TX transmission node on your controls. This option is based on the ICS switch position in the cockpit. Again, I'll cover this in more detail later on in the video. There are a couple of things to take into consideration while learning and using this extension. One, there are roughly 280 voice commands for Jester and 44 commands for Iceman. Two, most of the Viacom commands do not match the exact wording in the Jester menu wheel. This may seem daunting at first, but there are a few ways to learn the dialogue and become proficient. For the various categories on the Jester menu, Viacom created root voice commands. With the show messages and hints only options enabled, after voicing a root command, a window will pop up with the available options. From there, you simply state the desired option. Scan range. Note, this window will stay open for only five seconds before fading away. Scan range, 50. Copy that. Track single. Track single, bogey ahead. Okay. I find this method the most effective as you only need to memorize the root commands. As you gain experience, you can slowly wean off the root commands and simply state the desired voice command. You can download a custom kneeboard add-on cheat sheet that has most of the voice commands. A download link is in the video description below. If you own the interactive kneeboard extension, you can access a quick reference guide. After bringing up the interactive kneeboard, simply state, Jester. This will show you the command dictionary and one alias per command for the Rio on the right side of the page. Keep in mind this page does not include every command, and as of this video, only Jester Rio commands are included. 
As mentioned earlier, the ICS hot mic option allows you to interact with your AI counterpart without needing to press a TX transmission node on your controller when the mic position is set to hot. Upon loading into the Tomcat, you will need to cycle the switch to enable it for Viacom and then verify it is active on the Viacom EX extension menu. It is a helpful feature that will keep your hands free and allows you to communicate in a more realistic manner to your AI counterpart. However, keep in mind that overall voice recognition may be less reliable when using the open mic feature. One last thing to keep in mind, stating Jester or Iceman before each voice command is optional. To keep things simple, I recommend just stating the desired voice command. Let's have a look at various scenarios and the associated voice command cadence. Start up. All right. ICS comm check. Loud and clear. Roger. Align fine. Okay. Link mode, tactical. Got it. Attack mode, pilot. You bet. Select Mark 82s. Yes, sir. Set fuse, nose. Copy. Raider mode, TWS. Scan center. Yep. Break lock. Roger. Scan range 100. Yep. Managing your Rio with this extension really comes down to repetition and gaining experience. Start with air to air operations until you feel comfortable. Become familiar with the radar functionality and limitations. Then switch to air to ground operations. Eventually, you will be able to tie it all together in one mission. Ultimately, the best Rio is a human one that is proficient with a complex radar and has excellent situational awareness. But should you find yourself going solo in the Tomcat, this extension for Viacom is an excellent resource and provides unparalleled immersion.